most of the cars are designed like this car. They're, you know, minimized, sleek, real low to the ground, barely one driver can fit. The spaceship style design is necessary for cars to race on rays in the American Solar Challenge that lasts 10 days, spans 2,400 miles, and tests solar car design on the open road. It's a research and development competition, basically, to get in integrate systems from the solar panels through to your batteries, which are very important as far as longevity and power output and recharge rates. Um, and then you have battery control systems. Then you go to motor control systems and the mo finally the motor and the drive system. Uh, and trying to integrate all that into the car mechanically keeping the car light, strong, aerodynamic. Oliver and the 10 other solar racers from the University of Arizona have been building the car for months, coming up with new ways to make it efficient and tapping some solar strategies that are more mainstream. We have regenerative braking, where when you hit the brake pedal for the, re the motor, it reverses the polarity and sends a charge back into the batteries. It started in the solar car, but it's now implemented on the Toyota Prius, you know, the Honda Insight. They have the regen braking to help their, their systems out. That kind of thing it eventually sees its way into the industry. In the future, the designs from the 15 teams competing could become common among commuters. But for now, the University of Arizona's solar racing team is focused on crossing the finish line on July 22nd. We just want to finish. I mean, this kind of race, 2,400 miles, anything could happen. I mean, if we only have one motor. I mean, it's such a rare motor. If that one burns out, we're done. So hopefully everything goes smooth and we want to finish. We don't really care if we get first or last. Or, I mean, first would be nice, but we just want to finish the race. That's the, that's the main goal.